Hello and welcome and thank you all so very much for being here today and I am so excited to finally have this presentation pulled together. I have been working on the essential oil cycling method has been something that I have been working on diligently now for oh it's been about seven years and I am so excited to share it with all of you. So what we're talking about today is natural ways to fight aging now, and we're going to learn about the essential oil cycling method. With the presentation today, I'm going to help you understand, number one, how your skin works, what dermal absorption means to you, natural ways to keep your skin healthy, ingredients that can aid your skin, habits that fight aging now, and why the essential oil cycling method is your best skin defense for anti-aging. So this is gonna be a little technical in the beginning because I'm a deep dive researcher and it's just the way I roll. It's something I can't help it. It just, I get, I geek out on this stuff because I've had so many nightmare health issues and been to the dermatologists and you know, lived with them for about 14 years of my life and getting worse, not better. And so I wanted to understand more about my skin. And so I started doing some, some generic learning, understanding number one, your skin is your largest organ, but we don't think about it because it's, it's here with us all the time. We see it all the time. If we put our heart out on our shoulder, we would protect it with everything we had, right? but we don't think about our skin, but our skin is actually our first defense against fighting out bacteria and infections and pollution. And so when you begin to really understand how the skin works, you've got three levels, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. Underneath all of that, you're gonna have your blood vessels, the hair follicle, your sebaceous glands, and proper care of the skin is vital to making sure that it's able to do its job the very best way for your body. When I got really down into, because we make our products and we are dealing with raw ingredients and I started looking at what's called, back in the day, 24 years ago, it was called the MSDS, which was Material Safety Data, data Sheet. Now it's SDS. And you start looking at the nightmare possibilities of toxic ingredients that you're handling all the time and start going, well, you know what? I got to wear a hazmat suit to, to work with this. Maybe I don't need to be working with it uh, because that means that if I'm putting it on my body every single day, sometimes twice a day, what can be happening? And so I started, I went out to the CDC and I started learning about dermal absorption from them. Uh, this is actually information that they give for manufacturing companies to understand how to protect the employees. And when you begin to understand that what touches your skin literally is being drawn into your body all the time. And you can, I, I, I will be giving out the um, replay on this so you can actually uh, highlight on your replay, copy the link that's here and you can go do that study. Uh, I like to always let people know where I'm doing my research from and then give them that, that, that possibility, especially uh, when I'm working with people that are in the spa industry, stuff like that, because I want them to know that I'm doing this deep dive myself because that is the most important thing to me, making sure that what's touching my skin and my client's skin and going down the drain is safe at all times. So you've got, these are the different ways that the absorption can happen. And a lot of people don't think about their scalp and the hair follicles. Now, the biggest thing to me is when we are using these horrible chemicals on the scalp, we're right here at the brain level. So we've got to be very conscious about what we're working with and what we're putting on clients all the time. Sammy, make sure everybody can see your PowerPoint. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Ask the question. Can y'all see the PowerPoint? Okay, that's all we needed to know. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's talk about natural ways that you can keep your skin healthy. 
uh, proper cleansing. This needs to take place morning and night. I run into so many ladies that go, yeah, I sleep on my makeup every night. I just, I'm just too tired to deal with it. And that's okay when you're young, maybe not. But when you start celebrating more birthdays, can I tell you one of your best defenses to stay on point with the way your skin looks is to make sure you're doing proper cleansing. You want to take a look at your beauty products. Make sure that you're not utilizing things that contain carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, toxic ingredients, petroleum byproducts, balanced nutrition. Now this one is a big one for people because it's so easy now to run by the drive-through. But the problem with the drive-through is it's all processed foods. And so we get addicted to the processed foods. The body doesn't know what to do with these things. So it just keeps wanting and wanting and wanting more nutrition but we keep going to the wrong things. Well, this overall begins to affect the outer part of the body as well. And so the skin begins to, to have not as much elasticity and not be as firm and tone and tight, larger pores, things like this begin to happen, bagging, sagging and dragging as I like to call it, occur as well. One of my biggest discoveries, staying fully hydrated is huge. Uh, I last year I went on a gallon a day in the month of May, which we had done every year with my exercise class uh, just for the month of May. And last year uh, during COVID, I encountered COVID number one and then menopause and then put on 30 pounds and I was teaching class. And when we began the water hydration part of it, all of a sudden by day 27, I had lost 22 pounds. And I noticed that my skin was looking amazing. And so I thought, well, why don't we just keep this up? Here we are, fast forward to September the 3rd, 2021. I have not missed a day um, on doing a gallon a day. Some days I've had as much as 210 ounces, but the more hydrated the body gets, the one of the biggest things I've discovered, the more it wants. So what we put in, we gotta be conscious of what we're doing to ourselves because the body will begin to adjust and to crave with it. Now I have a lot of people go, I cannot believe you consume 210 ounces of water in a day. Are you not living in the bathroom? In the beginning you will. However, here's the biggest secret I've discovered. You're, you're releasing toxins, all right? So you want to be able to go to the restroom. So you embrace it and then the body begins to adjust it. Now I'm not talking about drinking 210 ounces in you know, one sitting, this is over the course of about 14 to 16 hours. And so if you are interested in uh, learning how to do that successfully, I will gladly uh, share some information that I've got, just reach out to me. Now let's talk about adequate exercise. It keeps your skin firm and toned and tightened. All right, now I've been teaching exercise class. I'm a certified insanity instructor and I've been teaching classes now. This year marks year eight. I took it on when I turned 50. And the reason was it was that, or I was headed to the wheelchair with the fibromyalgia because I had let myself go again and it was not a pretty situation. And so God really convicted me, get out of your comfort zone, do something that you are scared to death to try. And so I took that on and I have never looked back. The exercise is difficult in the beginning and you just work your way into it. You just challenge yourself. And that's one of the things I love about being an instructor is to help people see it's doable. At age 58 right now, I'm actually in better health than I was in my 40s and my 30s because of sticking with it. Let's talk about sleep and keeping your skin healthy. Your skin takes the stress of all the, you know, of the entire day. If you're burning both ends against the middle, which I've been there and done that, and I understand how easy it, you slide into it, those hours of sleep begin to add up that you're losing. And so it's so important. Not everybody needs eight hours of sleep. Some people are great with six, but you've got to learn about sleep and you've got to learn about the right ways that you can actually make this work for your life. And you want to make sure that you're getting that good deep sleep where you're able to just be, uh, nothing wakes you up until it's time. And that's an art in itself. And I have learned how to master that one too. So if you are interested in any help there, just reach out to me and I'll be glad to give you some information on that. And then last but not least, 
essential oil cycling method. Uh, this is what we're going to be going into here in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about some ingredients that you might not know age your skin. Now, I'm not going to I'm going to give you this PowerPoint, so I'm not I'm just going to run through the names on these things and give you a quick uh, rundown on them. Propylene and butylene glycols. These are petroleum chemicals that penetrate the skin and they can weaken the cellular and protein structures. I use these as the beginning of all of it. The reason being almost all of the extracts, botanical extracts that are created in the beauty industry for cosmetics are in these bases. In 2008, God gave me this revelation to begin making our own extracts using certified organic herbs and infusing them in high magnesium Dead Sea brine that we import out of, of the Dead Sea. We infuse it for a year and we make our own extracts using this. So this way, our products have zero petroleum byproducts in them whatsoever. There is, there's, we even make a, a soothing salve that's an alternative to, pro, uh, to um, Vaseline because of how damaging it is. A lot of people don't know this and our beauty industry doesn't teach us, but all of the petroleum byproducts here in the United States, unlike Europe, are not um, being forced to do ultra refining where there is no contaminants left. So almost every single petroleum byproduct out there on the market today has contaminants that are not even listed on the SDS sheets that manufacturers get for manufacturing these products. It's just, okay, I got a vat of, of petroleum jelly and you don't know what until you get to the bottom and then you see the stuff. Well, they don't use the bottom of it. They just discard it. So when you're, you know, unless you're behind the scenes, a lot of times you don't know these things are damaging to your body. Formaldehyde, it's not in as many things as you would think nowadays, but it still does exist. And a lot of it is going to be found in hair straighteners that have the keratin hair straighteners. What happens is when heat hits it, it emits formaldehyde. And so you've got to be very aware of these things. Uh, diath I can't, I, I, I tried to remember how to pronounce this one. I even went that was rehearsing it all day yesterday. Diathino, I can't remember how to say it. I'm sorry. This is used a lot in soaps and surfactants liquid laundry soaps, detergents, as well as shampoos, conditioners, and a lot of cosmetics. So be very aware of all of these different things. Fragrances, coal tar, benzene, all petroleum byproducts, untreated or mildly treated. Uh, then you've got parabens. Parabens are going to be now, I've discovered that they're hiding underneath new names. So if you get your ingredient label list and you begin to look at these things, just look it up, you know, good old Mr. Google, he is your best friend and he can help you find these things. There is uh, at the end of the presentation today, I will have all of the sites that I get this information from, one of those being EWG that has been around for, well, it was called Skin Deep a long time ago. They still have that site, but EWG is now their, their business site and it actually helps you understand more. They are hiding a lot of things now, and you can actually go into what's called the Wayback Machine to find things that aren't out there anymore. And the reason being is that they're trying to make it where we don't know all of this stuff like we want to know. Last but not least, ingredients that aid your skin, and this one's going to trip you out, retinol, AHAs, and BHAs. They can cause photosensitivity, rashes, redness, itching, swelling, burning, severely over dry skin, especially in the winter time. And I wanted to put all of these in eye creams. All right, so when I began to learn behind the scenes with that SDS, the information about how toxic these ingredients truly are, although the industries will tell you they're fine, it's really not. And so I have taken a stance against all of it because I, if it's gonna be a possible slowly graduation into my golden years of having issues with my skin, I'm just not willing to go there and I'm not willing to help my clients go there either. Let's talk about habits that fight aging now, staying fully hydrated, uh, all of this information right here, ladies, men, read this really quick. Okay, because this is how much hydration we need to have on a daily basis. This is what Mayo Clinic recommends just for, just for minimal intake. 
or um, not maxim, maximum intake. So you want to make sure that you're reaching that. It used to be half your body weight, 64 ounces. It's up now. When you, if you take a look, your heart and your brain are 73% water. Your blood, 90%. was talking with Dr. Kindness, who's a medical doctor in the UK yesterday on Zoom. And I said, why is it that medical people are not recommending when they see high blood pressure, let's take six weeks, let's get our water intake where it needs to be. Let's, let's get our exercise on. Let's take a look at your diet. I said, why is it that that medical pad just gets written and go? And the problem is, is that they have so many health problems now, they don't have time to do this. And so it's our jobs to take care of ourselves. And so I highly recommend if you're on the borderline of dealing with these issues, with high blood pressure, cholesterol problems, and things like that, take a look at your diet, take a look at your exercise, take a look at this, because a lot of the time it can be changed. Reduce your sodium intake. It causes dehydration, over dry skin, puffiness. You know, a lot of people say, oh, my eyes are so puffy. Take a look at your, your salt intake. Sugar intake. Now, sugar is going to increase inflammation in the body. It breaks down collagen and elastin. It turns everything into bagging, sagging, and dragging skin problems. How do I know? Because I love it. <laughs> and I can tell when I have gone into uh, one of those those moods. I'm sure you you all think you can relate. You know, there's just once in a blue moon. I gotta have that chocolate. Then I like it so much. It's the next day, and it's the next day. I bought that bag one. I. I I, I have to get rid of it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going, I'm committed to making sure it's gone. And then within about a week's time, the skin starts showing the signs of it. So it, it's a very gradual thing and it really does add up very fast. You wanna remove fast foods and processed foods from your diet. Your healthy skin begins within and so fast foods and processed foods are going to contain high quality quantities of unhealthy carbs. A lot of them contain trans fats, which the, even the FDA has said not even one trans fat in your diet a day is healthy. But the fast foods, they are hidden in there beyond belief. Uh, and then it's going to exacerbate skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, over dry skin, uh, dermatitis, increases the fine lines and all of these things. And guess what? It decreases fertility and cognitive functions. And it's going to also increase depression, anxiety, as well as obesity and morbidity. Part two, exercise, of course, is going to be one of your, your go-tos for fighting aging now. Ladies, I want to instill in you the importance of strength training get on it, fall in love with it. I'm not talking about you looking like a skin date, but I am talking about you pumping some iron. Why? It builds bone density. It keeps the muscles firm and tone and tight, and it actually helps define and sculpt the body. And so two to three times a week, pump some iron, get it going. You, you, I promise, unless you look like a male, you know, you're very, very masculine, the possibility of you growing massive muscle without getting involved with all of this bodybuilding stuff, it's never gonna happen. So pump some iron, do some squats, take care of your muscles because it's what holds up your whole body. Number, of course, we talked about the sleep, drinking less alcohol and above all, don't smoke. Now that is coming from somebody that smoked three packs a day. It was 28 years ago when I was a heavy smoker. I got rid of it before I wanted to get pregnant. My daughter is now 26. I, I stopped two years prior, but back then it was a cool thing to do. We didn't know any better. Now we know so much more about it, especially with COVID. You wanna make sure you're not smoking. Thank you so much for being here, Diet. Diet is gonna share real, real quick, a little testimonial. She's been utilizing our product. She's gone through some serious nightmares with her health. Uh, and I'm gonna let her uh, share that so she can Thank you so much for jumping on and sharing with us today. She's in Absolutely. between clients. Yeah, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it for the whole thing, but thank you for having me. Um, I'll give you guys a little brief history, um, and then I will tell you about the stuff that I absolutely love. Um, about six years ago, we moved into our dream home and we, it was a fixer upper. We quickly found out that there was some serious problems hidden behind the walls. So 
uh, it actually, we didn't quickly find out. It took about two years to find out. So we had toxic mold in our house and it caused a lot of problems with my health, uh, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, multiple chemical sensitivities. I was having cluster headaches. Um, my skin was terrible, like dry, flaky, breaking out all the time. I'm 47 years old and still had a ton of acne. Um, so I met Tammy and Jim last year in a challenge that we were doing. And at the time, we thought that we were through our toxic mold stuff. Um, come to find out there was still some hidden mold in our house. And I was intrigued because Tammy seemed very, very knowledgeable with all the chemicals um, that were in skincare products. And because of my chemical sensitivities, I've had to really pay attention to what I'm putting on my skin, what the cleaning products that I'm using. Everything has to be fragrance free, chemical free. Um, it's been quite a process. I've had to eat clean, all that good stuff. And so um, it's taken a while to get a good routine down. So Tammy sends me this sample kit and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll use it. I mean, I have some friends that make products in their homes and I've never really loved them. And then I get Tammy's kit and I am not kidding you, within like the first two days of using the Dead Sea Mud, my skin completely cleared up. I have blackheads on my nose really bad and acne. I get it along, especially now with the masks and COVID, I get, you know, mask me um, across my face. And I was just absolutely amazed at the difference that it made. So my, also my husband has psoriasis and he has been using the soothing salve and his, he's got one finger that is cracked. His fingers would crack and peel and bleed and it would be like half of his fingers. And this stuff has made an amazing difference in him. So I'm so excited that I finally found something that I could use that I don't have to worry about what I'm putting on my skin. No, Tammy didn't pay me to be here. Um, I really truly love the products and uh, you know, I've got all my, little, all my little stuff right here that I use every day. Okay, and if you guys don't use this yet, the facial serum. My husband doesn't know that I ordered it, but I can't live without it. <laughs> so anyway, I, you know, I have a long road to go with my health. Um, I lost like half of my hair, I've got you know, big bald spots. We got to work on that next, Tammy. Mm -hmm. um, but I am just so grateful that God put us together and so blessed um, to have met you and uh, just what you're doing. Don't stop. It's going to make a huge difference in so many lives. And I love you so much. I love you. Thank you so much. I didn't know that about your husband's uh, psoriasis. So I'm glad to hear because I made the uh, soothing staff for my psoriasis last year when I had that horrible outbreak that I'll show these pictures later. But thank you for coming and thank you for sharing and Absolutely. Uh, give a little background about what you do. Uh, so that um, everybody knows what you're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently a massage therapist and I'm working on my wellness coaching certification. So hopefully Tammy and I can partner up a little bit in the future and uh, get you guys living clean and living healthy. And uh, yeah, Amen. that's me. Thank so, you, thank you guys so much. Thank Have you a great for being one. here and watch sharing. the replays. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I just love Miss Diet. All right, so we're back to the uh, habits that fight aging now and daily supplements. These are things that we are not, you're not able to get everything we need you guys in our food anymore. And so you have got to get out there and you've got to start finding out about what it is that your body is needing. Uh, my husband and I have been doing greens literally before it was cool. Uh, it's been over, well, we've been together 36 years this year. And I believe we started at what, Jim, about 30 years ago. Uh, I, as I began learning about God's garden and everything else and all these wonderful herbs, I was in all of the, their healing and, and therapeutic properties. I was like, well, we need to be putting that in the greens. We need to be putting that in something we need. And so we started mixing and blending. And now I've got it. It's like, as long as my arm, this list of all these different herbs that I blend together uh, that help us fight aging and it's not going to be one and done. This is something that you have to do on a daily basis. And one of the things I tell folks all the time, if you want to get serious about this, think about taking care of yourself, just like you take care of your teeth. Would you ignore your teeth for a week? Probably not. And, be, and stay with good teeth, right? So we've got to make sure that we are doing things that are absolutely very beneficial, uh, that are going into our body as well as going on our body. Uh, Jim, I see that um, Sarah Ward is uh, in the waiting room 
and she is a nurse. Hello, Miss Sarah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm going to let Miss Sarah give a real quick testimonial because she is just getting off of work, but she said she'd pop in here to give a testimonial here real quick, and then we'll get on and I'll teach you about essential oil cycling method. You know? Yeah. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Miss Sarah, how are you? I'm blessed. How are you? Awesome. Thank you for being here today. I know you're just getting off of work as a nurse. God bless you. And thank you for all you're doing on the front line with everything in the hospitals. Well, it's, it's my pleasure. And thank you for, uh, for making sure that, that I look, that my skin looks amazing every day. <laughs> Maybe uh, give a little background about how you've been working with the product. You've been working with our products quite a while. Uh, yes. Um, I ha my husband actually happened upon you when I was pregnant with our now almost 14 year old daughter. Um, and that's um, how I got to know you and, um, and was introduced to the products. And um, up until that time, um, I had always had really bad combination skin. Um, and I was very prone to breakouts, especially um, like hor when my hormones were going crazy, um, you know, every month. And um, I literally um, started using your products and uh, one day and noticed um, a great difference um, just after using your products once. Um, and um, I began receiving compliments on, you know, on my skin and my complexion. And um, I literally, um, I through, because of you, um, you ha you are the one who you are the fountain of youth. Um, you have created the fountain of youth, um, uh, or what I like to call a youth preserver. Uh, it seems like um, you know my skin has has pretty much uh, you know preserved itself in my in the usefulness of my skin um, since I started using it. Um, there was a short period of time. Um, uh, uh, about a year or two ago, um, that uh, I I just I don't know it was it was stupid of me, but I stopped using the products, and um, when I did, I immediately noticed um, signs of aging, um, dull complexion. I didn't have that glow to me that I seem to always have um, just naturally because I don't wear makeup. Um, I only will wear mascara if if I were anything. So, you know, my skin is, you know, is my canvas um, and what everybody sees, um, you know. So um, that was a big mistake. And um, I was scared that, um, that, you know, the signs of aging and the wrinkles that I was developing were going to be um, permanent. But um, I started back um, using your products recently. Uh, well, within the past, uh, past I think it's less than a year yes, and um it seems like I mean it literally um reversed everything that um the these you know expensive um brands that you know that they're they're super expensive and they and you know you see them in like Ulta and Sephora and um play things like that and um um I, I I, after switching to the from those back to your products, um, my it, it was like it forgave my skin, and my skin um, immediately, um, like within days, um, you could tell it had gone back to looking the way it did when I first started using your products. Um, I, I remember you were also using those those blades, the the micro blades to scrape yeah. the skin. Is that correct? And you were still experiencing all of that. Um, I don't have to anymore. Right. That's, that's <laughs> um, the beauty, right? <laughs> it is. I mean, and, and it's just, it's one of those things I've shared with so many people, um, the products and, um, and, you know, just my knowledge of them and, um, everybody, every single, literally every single person who I have introduced to the product, the products to have, um, without telling anybody that they used it or anything, they first, after the first use, they um, begin receiving compliments on how how um, beautiful their complexion and how glowing they, you know, how, how they just, you know, exuded, you know, this glow um, from their skin. And um, 
it's just, it, they're absolutely, your products are just absolutely amazing. And um, they do the job of what so many people pay so much money for, um, for like such as Botox and fillers. And I'm, I, it's not, I'm not against invasive procedures like that, but um, using your products, I don't feel like I need them. Um, you're, I mean, the, just, I, it takes me, I, I, I do the skin routine every morning and every night, um, it's like clockwork. Um, and it really literally only takes less than five minutes to, to do the whole routine, unless, um, you know, it's my day, one of my days that I do the mud mask. Yeah, um, but we got to figure out how to get that mud mask drying quicker. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I mean, it, but um, I do not go down to the, I remember um, here within the past month or so, we went down to the beach and I, contacted you um frantically because um i had to have a mud mask i have to have the mud mask when i'm down at the beach or else um i will burn um every time i go out into the sun um and have a, you know a good bit of sun exposure i come back inside i'm i apply your mud mask um let it sit on there you know let it dry rinse it off and then use the uh the mud light um to Green. cream and um, it, may, it turns what would be a burn into a beautiful, even tan and um, makes my skin feel rejuvenated. Um, yeah, let me interject on that one with you uh, real quick. Uh, one of the biggest things I discovered that that mask helps with, and it has done it across the board for every single person that I've encountered, is sun poisoning. If you get that massive overexposure, it's going to be intense. So when I go to Florida, I bring a big jar and we put it in the refrigerator. And then mm -hmm. if you get too much sun and uh, I've had it where it peeled off in a sheet on my skin before because I didn't have the mud. But when I if I when I started bringing the mud with us and using it right after, like you're talking about coming straight in from the beach, no peeling, no burning, no eruptions of, of all the blistering and stuff like that. So that's a little side note if something ever occurs for you, if you because it's going to be hot. So if you're putting it on burned skin, if you kick it out of that refrigerator, it can really help enhance that. I've had people show up in the shop having um, had issues with their chest, getting the sun poisoning, like clawing it, itching it. I'm like, OK, we're going to put the mud on. And within seconds, the, the itching stops. You know, so it is one of the, the most amazing things and it never ceases to amaze me how all of this well, stuff I mean, does work. You, you and your products never cease to amaze me. Um, like I, it, I'm not the only one that uses um, your, the, the mask and, you know, some of your other products, you know, on certain occasions. I've got, um, I've got an almost 14 year old and a 10 year old daughter. And, um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's your products are not only just amazing and um you can just you can notice the the change in the you know it and how it enhances your your skin and your look but um it's also safe for you know for you know children and younger people it doesn't um it is is it's good for sensitive skin it doesn't it doesn't burn or or hurt like so many other uh, products do and um it just it does um a job that i mean i just i it's if i didn't know you and um see the difference that it made in me and it has made in other people that um other uh customers of yours i wouldn't believe it because <laughs> i mean it's just that it's just honestly that amazing um and uh, i mean i i swear by it and i always i've always said that i'm a very picky person and it takes a lot to impress me and i am not loyal to any one brand for any certain products except for your skincare your mm -hmm. skin i that, that's the one thing that i can't live without um and that i cannot um you know it, find you know anywhere else well we will keep making them and i thank you so much for uh stopping in uh i'm going to get into the essential oil cycling method and we'd love to have you stay i know that you're probably exhausted uh so if you <laughs> if you want to hang great if you want to well we will be sending out the um replay for everybody so if you need to rest i understand because you're doing a long hour there at the <laughs> hospital 
Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I've got it. I've, I've got to go, but I'll um, come back and watch the recording if that's okay. Yes, ma'am. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for coming well, by. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And I, and I really appreciate you and your thank genius. You, we appreciate you. You have <laughs> a blessed weekend. You too. Bye-bye. All right. So there you go. All right. Next one. Let's move into essential oil cycling method. This concept is based on using unscented Dead Sea products and incorporating essential oils in a bi-monthly basis to introduce beneficial stimulators for the skin, therefore avoiding a plateau. Now, this is my personal um, creation that I've done. God actually opened my eyes into all of this uh, when I began to learn about the skin. And then, you know, a lot of people are like, even today, a lot of people don't know what essential oils are, um, believe it or not. And so I like to always pop that in there that they are life-giving healing oils that are found in the plants, herbs, trees, flowers, stems, and roots. Uh, extraction for these precious oils is done in numerous ways. Your best two are going to be steam distillation or CO2 extraction. Uh, these are the best and the safest ways to get essential oils from the plants. There are other extraction ways that, that occur and you've got to be very careful because one of the methods is hexane. And when I learned about hexane 24 years ago, I learned about how penetrating it is to the body and how toxic it is. And back then it was when um, all of the, the big hype was going on about grapeseed oil. Most grapeseed oils, unless now it's being done by CO2 extraction are done with hexane. And so it leaves traces and those, that, that trace isn't on the label. And so you don't know, uh, unless you know the, how it's been extracted, you've gotta be very careful. So if you are in the spa industry and you are using things along those lines, pick up the phone and call the manufacturer and ask them because by law, they have to let you know. So how can we avoid skin plateauing? The most important step is ditch the toxic skincare products. Our skin is the largest organ in the body and it contains over 3 trillion pores that are small portals that absorb 60 to 70% of everything that touches it. Once absorbed, these chemicals find our, their way into our bloodstream. And if the body doesn't know what to do with it, it will begin to store it in the visceral fat. Uh, usually this is gonna happen around the belly area uh, in the ladies' hips and thighs, on the uh, back of the arms. And so what happens is this becomes a silent time bomb for your future health. Toxic chemicals are getting flushed down our drain at the alarming rate of 41,000 pounds every minute of every day. They're finding their way into our rivers, our seas, our oceans, into the fish and the livestock that we are consuming. Now, when I began uh, doing the, the, the knowledge about essential oil cycling method, one of the things that God showed me was in Genesis, we are made from what? The dust of the earth, which is what? Minerals. The Dead Sea is the highest mineral content, life-giving uh, place on earth that can absolutely help with our hair, our skin, our nails, uh, all kinds of other health issues. When I began to study the Dead Sea very deep, I discovered I actually met people when I was like going to New York on the bus and they would, oh, you're, you're from Israel. Yeah, I'm from Israel. And I, I, oh, do you know about the Dead Sea? Oh, I go back every six months for a sabbatical. It keeps my rheumatoid arthritis under control, uh, helps my bursitis. Uh, it helps with my stress. It helps with my depression. And so I just was just like, wow, it does so much more. And then the side effects are beautiful, glowing, gorgeous skin. So I recommend that you use all natural unscented Dead Sea products that you can practice this method with. Learn about your products, ladies. Learn what's on these labels uh, because it's so easy. Just because the marketing looks fabulous and it promises to do all of these things. You know, one of the questions that I have, and just type yes in the chat field if you've ever experienced this, you bought a product, worked well in the beginning, and then it began, it just stopped. And it was just like, okay, well, that's not doing its job anymore, next. So that's where this concept has come in about the toxic ingredients, 
also when you're having the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my water is in the other room. Um, <clears throat> also, when you begin to uh, look at all the, the toxic chemicals, the petroleum byproducts, these things begin to add up on the skin and in the body. So let's talk about purchasing essential oils from a reputable source. One of the biggest things I want you to understand, there is no therapeutic grade certifications on essential oils out there anywhere. People throw this name out there on purpose. They just do because they can. There isn't any law that says, or thank you, certifications that we can obtain with our essential oils. And so I began studying 24 years ago, who was the best in the world? Who was a leader that I could follow? And I found Dr. Pappas. And Dr. Pappas has been an industry leader since the 90s. Uh, I actually was involved with him since he had what was called Essential Oil University as a business. Uh, now it's called theperfumery.com and he is a very high minimum order for businesses. But I know that my source is pure. And so when we mix and blend, we buy all of our essential oils there. And that way I know exactly what I'm getting. If you are buying on Amazon, you are not getting what you think you're getting. And Dr. Pappas actually challenges people to send him the uh, UPC codes so he can actually help you understand what you're getting on Amazon is not what you think you're getting. Ladies, every day we're using on average of 12 personal care products a day that contain 168 different chemicals. Men use about six that contain about 85 different chemicals. Now this is coming from the EWG. Many of these products are applied directly to our skin where it's absorbed directly into the bloodstream. I send you this, you can copy this and paste this URL and go there and read all about this information for yourself. Real quick, my story, I've dealt with seborrheic psoriasis. I was going bald, got diagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, lost all 10 fingernails to MMA primer that dissolved my nail beds. I was dealing with severe depression, anxiety, and suicidal issues. <clears throat> I had horrible leg cramps. I had toenail fungus on all 10 toes. My skin looked like shoe leather. Uh, I had the pickle pucker around the mouth because of smoking so much. And then I was living in the sunbeds. Uh, I joked that I was literally Southern fried chicken. I was frying on aluminum foil in the Alabama sun just to get that tan. And then I double dip and go to the sunbeds. This is an outbreak I had last February, right after I got over COVID. My body went into this horrible nightmare and so I, and this has happened to me multiple times throughout my lifetime. Now what's on my leg here is a mild case of what my scalp looked like. If you've ever seen hot spots on a dog, that's what my scalp and neck look like. I was a leper. Uh, the, the words unclean always just came into my mind uh, all the time. And so when I began to work with all of this, I just started just beginning to heal. It took a, it, it, it's a slow process, but man, was it worth it? Uh, even today, when I go to my hairdresser, because she used to, I used to get perms and she used to have to put the Vaseline on my scalp and neck because of the perm solution frying those oozing sores. And so my last perm was in June of 2000. And that's the last time I had it. Prior to that, every three to six weeks, I'd go get a perm because I wanted the volume in my hair. Well, when I went the last time, long story short, normally she'd sit there and, and re-ding, re-ding, re-ding about three times. I always be afraid those rollers would land in the bag with my hair burn off. The first time it dinged, I look like a French poodle. They were putting all kinds of conditioner, putting me underneath the hair dryer, which they normally tell you don't do anything for two weeks to let the perm do its thing. I still walked out. They had to straight iron my hair. And when I hit the Alabama humidity, it went right back. That perm took a year to grow out of my hair. Now, today, I don't use any perms. Uh, and I've got about three times the volume I've ever had in my life. Now, let's talk about my discovery. I was back in school for my manicurist instructor license, and I discovered NASA put this out on their website. You cannot find this now. You can only find this information on the Wayback Machine. Uh, I have the, the printouts myself and I have the exact URL and that's the only way you'll discover it now. 
If you're interested in that link, just private message me. I'll send you the information that you can go on the Wayback Machine and find it. But they have discovered that there is this amazing bacteria that repairs damaged DNA. Uh, it, it is actually a microbe that lives in the, uh, the semi-dry salts. And so it has been, they were studying it because of the radiation damage that would happen to the skin going in and out of the atmosphere. And they discovered that when they blasted it with 80 times the radiation of what a human could stand under a microscope, they watched that salty survivor pull itself back together stronger. And so they began to utilize this for their uh, astronauts for the skin. So when you begin to dive into, when I tell you add heat to the Dead Sea, this is why. This is why this stuff works. I'm always like, well, why is that? So when I discovered this, I was so excited. I was like a kid in a candy store. I went in with the printouts to my teachers at school. I was like, check this out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Because I was mudding everybody in school. I was mudding their hair. I was mudding their varicose veins. We were applying heat, doing all kinds of crazy things. This is why this works. And they just sort of had that deer in the headlight look. Okay, Tammy, <laughs> let's get back to class. All right, so the Dead Sea mud my favorite thing in the world. It firms, it tones, it tightens the face, your decollete, your body. I've done head to toe. Wherever that mud goes, it makes a difference. Uh, when I was at the Mastermind this, this past August in Dallas, I literally twisted my ankle to the point where I thought I broke my foot. I the first thing I did was, I think I broke my foot. I need to get mud on it because it reduces the swelling and it also helps with the pain, believe it or not. So anybody that would visit my room, we'd do a mud mask and I'd mud my, my foot and ankle too because it was like black and blue and purple and super puffy. Uh, and then let's see, what do we got here? This is me at the Dead Sea in Israel, 2008. I am reading the Entrepreneurial Magazine. That number 10 on there was my 10 year anniversary of studying the Dead Sea. And I got to meet her in person. I'm actually floating here and believe it or not, only about three feet of water. Anything that gets into the Dead Sea that, that is living floats. So this is why no fish can live in the Dead Sea because of all the minerals. They, 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 come, they rise up to the surface. Now rocks will sink and the salt grows. So underneath me is actually salt crystals that were so brilliantly gorgeous, like diamonds glistening in the sun with the briny water over it. Uh, and this is some other scenes here of me. The, I go to, we go to Panama City Beach uh, or down to Sandesta and, and we have the white sandy beaches. So when I saw the, 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 the white shoreline at the Dead Sea, oh, how beautiful. It's just like Panama City. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's salt. So I started doing body scrubs and, <laughs> and then I found the mud. And then, of course, I don't you don't put it over your forehead. This was in July. What happens is you start sweating so much that it'll get down in your eyes and you won't go blind, but you'll just think you did. And so it was one of the most amazing uh, adventures I've ever had. It was just it was magical to be there. The um, the next slide is us in Jordan. And uh, this actually is a, the middle picture on top is actually a view from our suite that we rented there because we discovered that all of the raw materials that we were getting had garbage in them. They were being tainted and I needed pure. And so we went to Israel and to Jordan to find a way to import 40,000 pound uh, containers because we sell into the day spa industry to distributors that help day spas buy from them. And so we had to get pure product. And so that's why we went. And it was one of the most amazing things that we've ever done. And I can't wait to go back as soon as it gets a little healthier over there and safer. The Dead Sea Facials. Uh, if you're a friend with me on Facebook, you see me and Jim doing this every morning. Uh, right now we're doing a 30 day challenge, a devotional challenge. And one of our morning routines is to mud on a daily basis uh, because I just don't want to look old and I'm not against procedures, but I've had so many clients that have been in my day spa that have had all kinds of nightmares with infections, with eye tucks and, you know, the facial uh, lifts and stuff like that. The, the, the uh, injection sites and stuff like that get infected. I'm just not willing to go through that anymore. And a lot of people go, do I have to mud every day? 
No, you don't have to mud, but can I? I've been mudding every day uh, for this past August 21st, made 11 years, 11 years. So I can honestly tell you, it does not hurt your skin. And then this is me in the past. I would travel all over the place because when he discovered the miracle, uh, I had to share it with people. And so uh, the second picture here with the two gentlemen that I'm standing next to, these are actually the owners of Liebermuth Essential Oil Company, Rob and Irv Brown. They are the most wonderful Jewish men you'll ever met. I, because I was such a lover of the Dead Sea, they just sort of adopted me. And they always, every time I did a, a party, they would come and let me uh, do this with them. And I bought a crown because I was like, I'm the mud queen and I got my cape. And I even give, I even gave certificates. I would dub them the macho mudder or a, or a mud diva and give them a certificate after they did the parties. Uh, but you can see down here in the middle uh, to the, to the right side, uh, me with a whole slew of people. And this was in Texas at the uh, Dollar Tree, at the Dollar Tree, <laughs> Double Tree, <laughs> at the Double Tree. We met it over 125 faces that night, and it was the best thing we ever have had. So much fun. But everybody I work with has just always been enthralled with how amazing it does for their skin. Uh, you can see in the lower right-hand corner with, with me working with Diana on there, and I've got her chin wrapped. She was having double chin issues after some weight loss and sagging. And so I discovered that when you do the wrapping, it actually helps with firming, toning, and tightening. In conclusion, God truly has put it all here, you guys. It's up to us to learn and implement. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Uh, I, like I said, I'm, I don't have anything I'm going to be selling today. But as a gift, what I would love to do is if you are interested uh, reach out. Uh, we will reach out to you through uh, the replay and give you a free consultation with me. Uh, the value is $500. This is for an hour of time. Normally I do 30 minutes, but what I would love to do is if you want to, we will go through your top five products that you have questions about. I'll analyze them and let you know what's in them. References here while Jim's trying to help figure that out. So you can go to all of these different uh, websites. And, and I like to research on very technical because this way I know I'm not getting a bunch of junk. And that's what's the most important part to me is that if I'm making these products, I know what I'm supposed to do to help you guys. Hi, me... Tammy. Yes, ma'am. Do you also carry um, manicure and pedicure items or products? Yes, Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would, when I lost all of my fingernails uh, to acrylic and gel abuse, uh, my nail beds were dissolved literally for over two years. And when I began losing my hair, that was my more, my main focus was not to go bald in my thirties. So I started, I learned that the Dead Sea mud would strengthen hair roots. So I started putting the raw mud all over my scalp. And then I used a, like a bag and then I did a heating cap. Well, my hands were going in the Dead Sea mud, began to gradually return and my head and my, for me, it was eight weeks, every single day, 40 days, but my nails grew back in. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I can help women with these nightmares. I also had nail fungus on all 10 toes, was diagnosed by a podiatrist. It was the WSO, it's the flaky, uh, brittle, crumbly issues. And I was, he was like, you're going to have to take Lamisil. I was like, I'm not doing that. And so I started working with people that have nightmare feet and I got rid of my nail fungus. I got my nails grown back. My hair grew back in all of this from the Dead Sea Minerals. And so uh, as a manicurist instructor, um, I actually got my, my taught for the Board of Cosmetology uh, for continuing education in Alabama for about nine years until they took away having to do continuing ed anymore, uh, which is the dumbest thing they could have ever done. But I don't know why Kathleen's not getting unmuted, but yes, ma'am, we do. And uh, I can actually help you if you're doing that in your spa, there's wonderful ways uh, to help with getting rid of these nightmares it's, and calluses. We have a product called Concrete Feet First Aid Stick that I designed. I have, actually have a podiatrist letter of endorsement on it for the, the nightmare cracked heel problems that you know gets really like concrete and it breaks and it, it can bleed and stuff like that. And this stick was designed for that.
Lori asks, what do we use to treat thinning hair? Our shampoo, our conditioner, and the hair mud, Miss Lori. Uh, when I first started, I didn't have all of those, so I had to create them. And I did not want the standard uh, sodium lauryl sulfates or the SLES in there because those are very, very toxic for, they're actually causing a lot of thinning problems. And what happens is, is a lot of times when people, you know, they look at the price of our shampoo and they go, oh my gosh. And I'm like, you know, for you to buy all of these ingredients that are in that shampoo, it's going to cost you about $400 to make that tube. So if, you, if you're losing your hair, your alternatives are so much more expensive, but most of the time what could be causing the damage is the commercial, even the salon products. Because see, the salon products, we're taught about having overexposure and getting sick from it. So we're getting toxic, right? So when you, oh, I buy the salon products, well, they're actually more potent and they're, most of them have way stronger uh, toxic levels than we realize. Uh, does that help answer your question, Lori? I think Kathleen's trying to come back in, Jim. Technology, so cool. <laughs> All right, I see she's got the, nope, there goes the mute button again. Are you, can you hear me? Yeah, I, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hi, so I'm gonna keep my um, video off just cause I know my bandwidth is low, but so um, my husband has had a keloid on the back of his head, which is, it's just a weird way that skin can scar. So instead of scarring inward, like it normally does, it scars outward. But his keloid was special because it had, he also probably has some kind of folliculitis and that's like the hair follicles get infected and it's pimply and itchy. And he's had this for uh, decades, at least like 20 years, probably since he was in high school. And, um, when, <laughs> when he got even more recently, since, I mean, we dance, we're ballroom dancers. So the sweat and things like that can really affect the scalp and he's, he's black. So he has very thick hair. He has an Afro and, um, it doesn't wash his hair every day. Neither do I. And it's, because of all the salt and the sweat and all those things, there's somehow there's some kind of crazy weird infection that he's had on his head for so long, for so long. And, um, we've never found anything and no dermatologist knows what to do. They look at him and like, Oh, uh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's really hard to treat. I, I don't know what we should do. And one dermatologist gave him a steroid injection, which now at that injection site, is like the worst part ever of his whole head. And most recently, um, just a few months ago, I set an intention and I prayed and I said, like, I just, I want to solve this problem. Like this is going to happen. It, I, I put it out there. It's like, God, give me a solution. And Tammy has these amazing things for your hair. She told a story about how, when she had uh, scalp issues and the first thing that clicked in my head was like, oh my gosh, my husband needs to try this. He has the same scalp issues. This is horrible. And for the first week, so just know this, like when you do anything, especially detoxing, if you detox because you're doing gut cleansing or whatever, the first week is awful. Know that no matter what you're doing, if you go to the gym, the first week is the worst week because it's the hardest. It's your body's getting rid of other stuff and you're changing things. So last week was rough, but it, all of these impurities pulled out of his scalp. And now I, he's, his head looks so much better and it's so much more comfortable for him to just exist <laughs> in life. I mean, this is one of those things that you just think like, oh, it'll never go away. And I kept saying, no, I'm not going to claim that. I'm not claiming that it's not going away. It has to go away. And what we tried, we just used two things. We used Tammy's, um, conditioner, the, and it's amazing. The smell smells so good and fresh. It's a lavender mint. Oh, it just smells amazing. And the hair mud and both of those in conjunction with each other. And she helped us. So if you are curious about any skin issues, talk to her, she will consult with you, give you your own personalized plan and help you with any of it. Um, but I just, there's, 
no words to describe how excited I am. And I cannot wait until it is completely gone. And we can show you before and after pictures. Cause I mean, there were boils on his head. He couldn't sleep his head. He said it was thumping like throbbing. And I felt so bad when I saw him, I, I almost cried because uh, I could relate to his pain because I was, I was just looking at it and I was like, <laughs> I know what this feels like. I, it, it's been 24 years for me, but it's still, it, you never forget it. And no, I, that pain comes back. <laughs> yeah. You and it. you, you just, you, you can sympathize. And so uh, that is one of the reasons that we are creating uh, we have the fight aging now group. Uh, we're going to call it the fight aging now club. So people can get in there and they can ask questions. They can say, okay, I'm doing this and it's not, um, what can I do to tweak it? What can I do to make it better? And that's what I want to, I want to be there for a, a, a community to help you find these natural ways to really rid the body of these nightmares. But when I saw his head, <laughs> oh, I almost just bawled for him because I, and he's been dealing with it way longer than I did. And they, yeah. he, he was getting worse too, right. With the dermatologist. Right. Yeah. Well, and they, you know, they tried to prescribe antibiotics that didn't work. That made, that I mean, that does. just made his whole body awful. So that none of it, nothing has helped. And, and that I messes mean, up your gut and then you've totally. got all kinds of other problems. So it's right. just, they, right. they don't really know, but they don't in their defense, they, they study don't know. medicine. They don't study natural. Right. Yeah. right. And then they, they, yeah, they study how to treat something, not the symptom, like not the root. They know how to treat the symptom and get you comfortable, which sometimes is really unfortunate because you're comfortable with the symptom. And it's like my check engine light is turning on in the car. So I'm like, well, I have a check engine light problem. No, you have an engine problem. <laughs> you need fixed. Don't just figure out how to turn the light off, figure right. out how don't, to solve the problem. So don't yeah, put a bandaid on the artery, fix the <laughs> right. artery. Right. But yes. it's just been such a blessing. So no matter what kind of things, questions you have, schedule a call with her because she can help you with any personalized, anything, anything. She's wonderful. I love you. Thank you so much. And Kathleen, tell them, tell everybody, cause I'm in your class. Tell us, tell us real quick what you do. <laughs> I, um, I help, well, I, I help people close sales. I also help people with communication. I, my degrees in communications. So my I love, love, love helping people understand how to grow your business or to communicate better with your family and friends, things like that, because communication is truly everything. And if you understand how to do it, you're never selling anything. You're just helping people do what they want, not what you want them to do. And that's my belief is that it's all about relationships. Everything is about relationships in this world. And we just want to form positive relationships where we help each other. That's it. And that's why I invested in her because I was like, I don't want to be a used car salesman. I, I, <laughs> I really have solutions, but I don't know. I teach, you know, and I preach and it's like, I need to learn how to, to relate and be relatable and helpful. And so that's why I got involved with her class. And I am, <laughs> I am just so thankful that she's dedicated to doing that because with her guidance, I'm learning how to be able to share stories the right way and um, be helpful to others. And so thank you, Kathleen, for oh, what you, you do as well. Yeah, absolutely. I see. I don't see Chad is on here. Chad, can you unmute and talk about uh, your facial with us in Dallas? Yeah. So I ended up hiring someone to do my makeup for video and pictures. Biggest mistake that I ever made. Um, number one, I don't use makeup. So I was very concerned about all of the chemicals and everything that were in the makeup. And I had dinner with Tammy and I was like, I need to get this off. Like it just felt so fake and horrible. And I personally believe that it looked horrible. Um, so she very nicely offered to take me back to her room and help me clean it all off and to do a mud. And it was amazing. It tingled. I mean, it did sting a little bit, but I think that was just because of all the crap that I had on my face. But afterwards, my face felt amazing. It was super soft. It felt so clean and just awesome. 
So let me address the tingle part. Uh, a lot of times when you have had like toxic chemicals on the skin or, or haven't encountered a very high mineral uh, mud mass like the Dead Sea, uh, it is going to have that. And one of the things I discovered when I was working with it in the beginning, because I was mudding my skin every day, uh, trying to learn and be, yeah, what what will this do? I discovered that the same mud that was in the jar yesterday, I couldn't feel because it was a good day. The stressful day, it was even more intense. And so when we were in Dallas, we were all under a lot of pressure. We were there for the mastermind. We were getting on stage and giving a five minute speech, holding a microphone, you know, doing things we've never done. So all of us were strung out and stressed out. And so that mud, when it goes on, when you've been strung out and stressed out, it's alive. And so the cool part is you can get in front of a fan or you can use a hairdryer in the cool setting and cool that right down. And that's what I had to do. I got in front of the fan. I have one of those big oscillating fans because I have to sleep with a big fan in my room. And I just sat there and just let it, and then it stops. But if you ever encounter it, it's a normal thing. We haven't lost a face yet to include mine after all of these 24 years almost. So just know that that is a normal reaction for these products because most Dead Sea products on the market today have about Dead Sea in there at about 1%. And the rest of it is fillers and junk. And so that I did not want to be that kind of a company. And so that is why ours is loaded. It's all, it doesn't take a whole lot of the products either because we don't use a bunch of cheap fillers. So Chada, thank you so much. I had such a good time with you in our room. Um, see, you weren't with me the night I, I twisted my ankle, but man, was that a, <laughs> that, was a that was quite a day. <laughs> Let's see, what does Kathleen say? It's like what they do with drugs, only one effective ingredient and the rest garbage, right? Yeah, and that's not what I want. I wanna have it, everything, I look at all of it, making sure everything that's touching my skin and my client's skin and my family, even my granddaughter has been an Aviv baby since birth. So if I know that my products are safe enough to put on a brand new infant, then you know we got a pure product for you. All right, you guys, well, I think that's, if that's everybody or if anybody's got any other questions, uh, I appreciate y'all being here so very much. We're going to get the video cleaned up mm -hmm. and then we will get it out there uh, through email to you. I will send that link for you to sign up for a, a one hour consultation. If you're interested in me working with you, this is free. OK, no high pitch sales or anything like that. Just uh, me, my way of helping giving back. You can bring uh, your top five products. Uh, if you, it would be best if you could email me pictures of the labels first, and then I can give you a rundown about what's going on in these products and ways to help. And then get into that essential oil cycling method. Utilize your, and, and rotate out because when you begin to change and help stimulate in different ways, your products like the Dead Sea Minerals, they will always work for you. They will always be beneficial and always help maintain that beautiful aura and that glow that's healthy and helpful for your skin and your future. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Get out there every day. God grants you the amazing gift of life and do your best to take care of you because when you take care of you, guess what? You can take care of all of those around you. Be a blessing, not a burden. Take time to take care of yourself. I love y'all. I hope you have a blessed day. Message me if you have any questions. Thanks for being here. Bye.